what was he doing? He was minding his business, living his life, you know, doing what he does. And one day he decided, I want to look for, you know, my relatives. And he's looking for his father. Y'all keep this in mind. He looking for his father. Okay. And as he was looking for his father, he found out he had a daughter. Now, how can a man looking for his father finds out that he has a daughter? Well, that's because, you know, some woman obviously didn't tell him about some particular child that she got pregnant. She got pregnant by a guy, never told the guy that she got pregnant. And that's what you get at the end of the day. That's what you get. You know, for whatever reason, she wanted to lie to this particular guy. Okay. If she kept a hold of him, but you know, sometimes there's things going on in the one night stand. But see, the thing is, the daughter said, I grew up thinking this other guy was my father. So, what does that tell me? Okay. R realistically, what happened is the mother was cheating on her man. And the mother went and got pregnant by somebody else. And I've told y'all in the previous show, if a woman wants to get pregnant, that's what she's going to do. She will have sex with enough guys enough times until she comes up pregnant. You, if a woman wants to get pregnant, she's going to get pregnant. That's just what it is. Okay, it's very rare for a woman not to get pregnant even though she wants to. Now, how, how do we know this? Because the only women who don't get pregnant even though they want to would have to be a woman who was actually married to a man, but for whatever reason, the guy doesn't want to have any more children, and she actually listens to that particular guy. That's about the only scenario you can have where a woman is not going to get pregnant even though she wants to be pregnant. But if we pay attention to what's going on in society, we know that there are plenty of women who just ain't listening to no man when she wants to get pregnant. She's going to do what she want to do because she can do it. Now, it's her body, her choice in America. That's just the way it is. Okay, and shout out to all my people who listen from around the world. And I know this is not quite the case everywhere else around the world, but in America, we have established that it's her body and it's her choice. And if she wants to get pregnant, that's what she's going to do. Now, um, I got a guest up here, so I'm going to let her if this is the same person I, I remember, because I had her, if this is the same person, I've had her here before, but, you know, I want to make sure. So, uh, ma'am, go ahead and uh, make a statement and we can make sure, so we can make sure that this is the same person that I've talked to before. Yes, yes. We, we, we've had talked before. Do you hear me? Yeah, yes, ma'am. I can hear you. Okay, yes. Um, thank you for having me up. I, I do appreciate it. Um, I know we don't agree on everything, and that's fine. Um, my question would be, um, is have you ever thought about eugenics and forced sterilization? I mean, I know of the concepts, of course, but um, we're not dealing with something that's being forced on women. They're doing what they want to do. You're not in a forced that's, situation. That's the one. That's the one thing about America going on right now. These women are making the choices that they want to make, and they're having ki the kids that they want to have. At the end of the day, this is my opinion. Obviously, men, men. I feel uh, this is my personal situation. This is me. Maybe how I think. At the end of the day, men are able to overpower women. So in so many different ways, economically, physically, politically, and socially. So my thing is, is that if black women are making bad mothers, why are you, why are black men are still having children with these women knowing the outcome of their mothering skills? Shouldn't there okay. be some action let's, to let's, take? Let's answer that question. Let's answer that question. The majority of black men are single and childless now. So guess what? Obviously, black men are starting to figure out that y'all are bad mothers and they've decided not to have babies with you. The truth is, most black women cannot get a responsible, productive man to have a child with them. That's the truth. That's why so many children come from the same 
small group of men. Y'all can't get a, a, a regular brother to have a baby with you. So well, as information gives out, as information comes out, things start to change. So I, I get that you want to blame this on black men, but no, black men are starting to no, figure that's out. That's not what I said. That's not what I said. I'm not, I'm not saying you said not, that, but I am saying okay. I am saying that as black men are starting to figure out that that black women are trash mothers, a lot of them are elected not to have a child with you. Because we at the point of the majority of black men do not have a child with the black woman in this country. Yeah, and that says okay. a whole lot. That says a whole lot. Okay. All right. Okay. That's an opinion. But my no, question no, 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 is, no, 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 hold on, hold on. On my show, we, we, we don't, I don't let false narratives slide. It's not an act, an opinion. It's an actual fact that most black men are single and childless, which means what? They wouldn't give a child to a black woman. It's not like we ain't talking with y'all. It ain't like we ain't dealing with y'all, but a lot of y'all don't add up to be somebody we trust to have a baby with. So therefore we didn't elect to do it. And black men use more condoms than anybody else. This is not an opinion. This is a fact. You don't have to like it, but it is a fact. Okay. I mean, that's not what I'm being told by my colleagues in the medical field, but okay. You, you, but yeah, moving yeah, forward. Someone, hold on real quick. It doesn't make a difference what someone's telling you. The truth is most black men are single and childless, regardless of who says a doctor can tell you something different. That don't stop the truth from being the truth. The nurse can tell you something different. That don't stop the truth from being the truth. The truth is most black men are not at the point where they've trusted a black woman to have a baby with. Point blank period. Oh. Doesn't make a difference what somebody's profession is. Because that's what the people when the people do the research, that's what comes out in the research. So it is what it is. Doesn't make a difference. Anybody's opinion, regardless of their job, regardless of their education, regardless of their background, the truth is simply the truth. And we going and that's uh, one of the things I said earlier. We got to start dealing with the actual truth so we can solve actual problems. So who cares about what somebody said about it? It's the truth. But go okay, ahead. that's fine. Well, I don't have children, and I'm not having children because it's confirmed that I would make a bad mother. So, like I said, my question is is what about forced sterilization and eugenics? Because a lot of groups of people have done this. So my question is, is the 20% or the 16% of black men that are having children, why are you still creating black children with these women then, knowing the outcome okay. of, of their mothering skills? No. Let, 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 me say, let me tell you what the truth is, because I get to what you're trying to say, but you obviously don't know the numbers enough. When it comes to men who are bad fathers, okay, the CDC estimated that in no more than actually 8%. Those are the reckless men that a lot of women are getting pregnant by. They're reckless guys. Everybody understands that they're reckless guys. So it ain't about them. It's about the women who want to have a child with a reckless guy. If he's reckless, why would you be having a baby with him in the first place? We, we understand he reckless. But you, but if you want to produce a baby with a reckless man, that's your that's your business at the end of the day. Because in America, we've made a decision that when it comes to this, it's her body, her choice. So she's making that decision. That woman is having enough sex with enough random guys until she gets pregnant because that's what she wanted to do. And if we want something different as a country, then we need to remove women's rights. At least the right to pick who she gets pregnant by. And if if so, if are you pro removing women's rights? At least in this particular category? If it comes down to it, absolutely, because that's it, it, it just doesn't affect um, them. It affects everybody. And if uh, these right. women are producing, if these women are producing, if these me women are bad mothers and their mother's skill is bad, they're going to produce bad people. And that affects everybody. Well, well, at the end of the day, the only way you can make a change to that is you have to remove women's right to pick when they can get pregnant, who they can get pregnant by. That's the only way you can actually change that. And so, so the thing is, question, if that's an actual issue, are women ready to lose some rights? 
so why won't black men go to the Supreme Court and file but petitions? Black, but black men is only 6% of a population. 6% of a population can't change anything. You need a majority of people in America to make a stand on some particular thing. You need a majority so of people in America. This is not this is not something that black men can solve on their own. And the issue is is about women's rights. So this is, is going to include every woman. See, nobody can make a law and say, "Hey, this law was just, just specifically for black women." No, you're going to have to say that we need women to lose rights across the board in this country in order to stop women from being able to choose who they have a baby by. I don't I don't believe that. I believe if you're saying that black women are the problem, man, then man, I don't man, understand man, what that has man, to do on, with other on, women. Hold on. What do, what don't you believe? Do you not believe that that it is going to take a majority of people to have laws changed? You don't believe that? What are you saying you don't believe? What I'm saying is is that what is the solution? I'm just I'm just man, trying to man, see what's man, the solution. I just I mm -hmm. just I just told you I just told you something you said you don't believe it. What is it that you don't believe? It's not, that's what I, I'm just saying that you're saying that 6% of the country. No, 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 no man. I said only black, 8% black men, is, only, for, black men are only 6% of the country. They're only 6%. That's that what 6%, I said. Do you not believe that? The, yes, Do you I know there's 6% of the country, the country, but you just said okay, 8% of them are having children. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. You, you, well, you're talking about an 8%. No, that's not what I said. I said, according to the CDC, they only could estimate that you have 8% of guys that are reckless. Out of the 6% of those guys, you're talking about 8% of a 6%. Now, and then you said that's black men need to go... Then, then you said black men need to go uh, petition to change something. Black men are not the majority of America. 6% of, um, of Americans, even if that entire 6% unified can't change the laws of this country. And if you change the law, the laws are going to have to affect everybody, which means you're going to have to change the laws that women can no longer pick who their child father is going to be. So now you're talking about women losing rights. If it comes down to that and, and we're producing unfit children that's going to become adults to harm people, I do believe it needs to come to that extent. But my thing uh, is, okay, is that then, what about then, allies? Then. There's other groups then, of men, and if then, then and this is the thing: if you uh, if you believe that this is a problem that needs to be solved, then you need to to start something so you can get women, because it'll be easier for you anyway. You're a woman, you know. You need to start something that the uh, petition women to give up rights, because you can't fix this problem unless you get women to give up rights. And somebody's gonna have to do a lot of work to convince women across the board that it's okay for them to give up their rights. Well, like I said, I'm I'm just I'm just giving some suggestions. I'm not saying, you know what I'm saying? I'm just trying to I'm just giving some suggestions. My thing is is like I said, if these women are unfit to be mothers, then something has to be done. Um and like I said, what about allies from other communities? Um why not band together with other people to pass a law where black women cannot choose to become mothers what, because they're what, so man, unfit. Because this, this is it. Because this is the thing, man. You can't pass a law specifically for black women. You have to do a law that's going to include everybody. And I'm telling you, as a woman, who at least other women can identify with you, you can start something for women across the board to start losing rights. I get you're trying to make a suggestion, and I'm trying to actually help you with those suggestions. So if you wanted to actually use that suggestion, this is how you're going to have to go about it. You can't make something that's going to be specific for a for a one group of women. You got to make it across the board. So you are a woman, at least. They will at least identify you, and you can actually fight this fight. So we need to, if you really want what you say you want done, then you got to petition for women across the board to give up their rights. I'm that's what you're facing. because I don't. I'm a little confused because I don't understand what I would do because I'm not having children with black women. That's something that you guys are doing. Ma'am, 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 you just said you want to help solve the problem. If you want to help solve the problem, that means you become part of the solution. And if you yeah, want the part of the solution is not to it, have it, children on, because I'm a bad mother. Hold, hold on, ma'am. No, 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 no. Hold on, ma'am. Hold on. Part of the solution that you can do, especially being a woman, you can start actually talking to women because at least you are one 
They can identify with you and explain to them why they shouldn't have the rights that they have. That's something but you I've already told black women, I've already ma told black women to stop having children. No, 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 man, this, this, this is not a black woman thing. You're going to have to do this for women across the country because you can't pass a law that only stops, that only takes rights away from black women. You got to do this across the board. And this is, there's plenty of women in America. It's a big job. You probably couldn't even do it in just your lifetime alone if you try to do it by yourself. So now you need to start getting women together to say we as women need to start giving up some of our rights. And because you're a woman, it's going to help. You can help fight this fight if, you, if you're serious about it. I mean, I've already done my part. I'm not having children no, because no, 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 I have no, realized. That, no, no, ma'am. We're talking about a community issue, which means it ain't just about you. Well, you I'm need not to get other the community. I, so I'm in a Man, different community, no, no, no. so I'm uh, not uh, in a the, the yeah. community. Th this is a community of America because you start talking about laws. Once so once you start saying laws, you're talking about Americans now. So if you I want was women just to give a solution, right, you need to, I, no, no, no. You give what you gave was a suggestion. I'm trying to tell you how you can actually see if that suggestion is actually going to pan out and work. You're going to have to make it an American issue and bring in other groups of women too, not just black ones. So, so if my you really want to help, why won't black, why won't black men do that? But I'm just Ma saying, why Ma won't black why, why men won't black do that? Men do what? Why won't black men do what? What you just what you just said to me. You just said, what, what why saying? won't you go? You what you just said to me. I'm. That's what I'm trying to figure out is why won't black men do what you just said that why I need to do? That's what black, I don't understand. Why won't black Why won't black men go across try to get, convince everybody in the country that women should lose rights? Yeah, because they're claiming that black men women black are men bad mothers. Need, black men don't. Black men don't need to solve a problem where women have rights. That's not the problem we need to solve. That's what that's what you said, and I'm trying to get you to, to help get that done. That's what you suggested. And if you want to do that, this is what you need to start doing. You su you suggested something. Now you're trying to put it off on black men. No, if you make if you see something as an answer, do what you think the answer is. Don't tell somebody else to do something that you don't believe in. So well, I'm just asking, why won't you guys do this? You no, guys no, are the ones who's asking, having children with black women, asking, not me. Ma'am, ma'am, you ask, why won't black men do something that you came up here and suggested? It though. Exactly. Guess what? If, if you if you were doing, it, I'm sure some black man would help you. It's your suggestion. Why are you asking me why black men are doing your suggestion? Can I that give, doesn't even make sense. Can I give my opening, if y'all don't mind? Well, hold on one second, hot sauce, man. Man, this this is the thing. You you made a suggestion. If you think this is a viable suggestion, I told you how to help that suggestion actually come to fruition. Now you're asking why won't somebody else do what you suggested? That don't make no sense. You an American. Well, so, you can do so it. So I'm I'm, if, I'm just going to you say you're going to continue to believe, have children with women who listen, claim it's unfit. Listen to me, ma'am. Listen to me. If you believe in your suggestion, do your suggestion. All I did was help you construct a suggestion where you can actually get some, some progress with it if you're willing to do it. Don't make a suggestion about what you believe should be done and then tell black men to do it. You're not our leader. Go, go fight for it yourself and see what type of ground you can make with it. I'm sure if you actually fought for what you said is a, is a viable solution, it'll be other brothers that will eventually start helping you. And next thing you know, I'm sure some white folks will jump in there and some Chinese folks or somebody, so, so a little bit of everybody might jump in there with you, but you got to go do it first. Don't make a suggestion and then tell somebody else to go do what you suggested. You got to believe it's in it not, first. It's, it's not that. It's just that I've been hearing this and I'm Man, just trying to figure. Mm -hmm. You made a suggestion. Okay. Mm -hmm. I gave you the reality of your suggestion. If you think it's a good suggestion, just go do it. It's nothing to argue about. No, I'm not arguing. I just feel like you're misunderstanding what I'm saying. But I'll be silent no, I'm, for now. I'm, I'm not misunderstanding you at all. I hear you extremely clearly. That's why I was able to help you with the suggestion you actually gave. Because I understand we live in a country where you can't do anything where it's just for this specific group of people. You're talking about a woman's rights issue. And if you believe women should give up their rights, it's a, a great thing to start that particular thing would be a woman to say that, hey, we as women should start giving up our rights and get other women on board. And I'm sure men will start to help you once they see other women are on board with giving up their rights. 
But let me read these two super chats real quick, and then I got you, hot sauce. Uh, shout